For the past few months, we've been upgrading the Civic with a new exhaust and new body pieces to make the car look cooler. And before we go turbo, I want to make sure that the Civic is nice and stable, so we're going to upgrade the suspension. I did break my car in this video, but uh, more on that later. Holy stress. <laughs> Our lip has been annihilated. That is due to the soft suspension on this thing. So we're going to try to stiffen this up, make it a little bit more race car. Look at these beauties right here. Check this out. Nice, high quality. I always love D2. I heard nothing but good about D2. Oh man, they're looking heavy though. <laughs> but that's when you know they're rigid. <laughs> Rear control arms. Look, they're fresh. They're brand new, of course. And the Civic is really gonna handle really good. Oh yeah. Put it to work. We're gonna remove all this. I am not the Chris Fix mechanic, but uh, do you know what I'm doing for the most part? <laughs> there we go. One is actually a little bit lighter, but not by much. Uh, they both feel the same for the most part. After taking out the old coilovers, it was time to put the new ones in. But before we do, we have to adjust the preload and as well as the ride height. We put it on the lowest setting that we could. I put it fully on the hard side so that way we could adjust it as soon as we get it on the road. I also went ahead and removed the lower control arms. Just wanted to make sure that these bushings were new and that way we don't have any uncontrollable suspension. The bushing is actually shot. You can see it cracking on the bottom. It's not too bad. You better be safe than sorry. Uh, that way when we go turbo or even track this car, it will handle what we need to handle. After installing the front coils and the front control arms, it was time to finally work on the back, but I got too tired and so we worked it on the next day. The goal for today is to install the rear lower control arms and as well as the rear camber arms. Now I do already have rear lower control arms on this car, but God knows when it's been replaced. So we're gonna have a peace of mind and we're gonna replace it anyways. It's completely shot. This is actually cracked. You can see right here, the bushing on this back is starting to go out. Something cool about these rear camber arms is that look at the difference. You could see that this is actually thinner. So makes it easier to adjust. It's not too big like this one and this one is probably just slightly heavier but not by much after putting the new camera arms the rear coils and the lower control arms it was finally time to take this car for a test drive however when i thought everything was going good i forgot to torque the wheels before i went on the drive and that's when everything went wrong and everything bro scratched the wheels buckled my fender uh. well, we're off the road now but civic oh my god we got a bad fender bender right here this is pretty bent and uh other than that the wheels are on but the problem is one of the other wheels is slowly coming off and don't want to drive this anymore so i'm waiting for my dad to pull up and See if we could try to get all these wheels tightened and probably just take this home. Oh man, I mean, not the buckle fender. Ugh. Man. We're back at home now and as you can see, this wheel is pretty scratched up. The rotor landed on it and that's what caused it to scratch the whole entire wheel. It landed on the caliper. Do you see this caliper paint? I took the side screw off. Obviously we lost the lip. And uh, now we have a buckled fender, but it is what it is. All the wheels are pretty tightened. I noticed the rear camper arm is slightly positive because it's rubbing a little bit, but alignment should fix that. We're getting gas. Oh my God, 
dude. I'm so stressed and so tired at the same time. We're working on this car for two days. We're gonna test everything. I did this time torque all the wheels. Okay, so first thing I also noticed when I'm first driving this car, everything feels just a little bit stiffer. But I think that's a good thing anyways because all those bushings on the car already were already cracked as I'm driving right now and it actually feels really good. I put the coilovers on more of a stiffer setting. Definitely feels better than what I had on the Max Beating Rock coilovers and no diss to them but these definitely feel a lot more premium while driving the car like I'm coming up on a bump right now and I don't know. That might have looked rough on camera but it actually handled it pretty nicely. Usually when I take bumps on the Max Mini Rods, it actually just feels a little bit more harsh. And that was me tuning it down on the right dampening setting to see how this feels. With the butt dyno, of course. Please smash the like button because uh, I need money for a fender. 